from Katie, and she has bulimia. Bulimia is an Ill illness in which a person binges on food or has regular episodes of overeating and feels loss of control. The person then uses different methods, such as vomiting or abusing laxatives, to prevent weight gain. Many more women than men have bulimia. This disorder is most common in adolescent girls and young women. The affected person is usually aware that her eating pattern is abnormal and may feel fear of guilt with binge purge episodes. The exact cause of bulimia is unknown. Genetic psychological trauma, family, society, or cultural factors may play a role. Bulimia is likely due to more than one factor. In bulimia, eating binges may often occur several times, many months. Um, some symptoms for bulimia is forcing yourself to vomit, excessive exercise, using laxatives, anemias, or water pills. People with bulimia are often at a normal weight, but they may see themselves as being overweight. Because a person's weight is often normal, other people may not notice this eating disorder. I'm a female. I have bulimia. Bulimia is a long-term illness. People will still have symptoms even after they receive treatment. People with fewer medical complications of bulimia and those who are willing and able to take part in therapy have a better chance of recovery. Bulimia is a very dangerous illness. It may lead to several medical complications over time. For example, vomiting over and over puts stomach acid in the esophagus, which can permanently damage this area. Some other complications include dehydration, constipation, dental cavities, electrolyte imbalances, hemorrhoids, and swelling of the throat, and it also tears the esophagus from too much vomiting. If you have a friend with bulimia, make sure you show concern and get them some treatment. Some signs and tests you can do to see if your friend has bulimia is see if they have broken blood vessels of the eye or if they have a dry mouth. Sometimes they have calluses on their fingers when purging too much. Some treatments include support groups, but sometimes if support groups don't help, then take them to the cognitive treatment therapy, which might help them. Thank you for listening to our public service announcement. Thank you.